Well, hello there, and welcome to Whimsical Wednesday right here on Eric Levinson, Whiskey Aficionado. Today we have something a little different. It's a, it's a liqueur. It's a liqueur, but it's not just any liqueur. No, no, no. This is Godiva chocolate liqueur. Now, when I got this, when I saw this, I grabbed it because I figured that would be it. I didn't realize there was also a white chocolate liqueur and a dark chocolate liqueur. Had I had the choice... Had I had the choice? Had I had. Yeah, that makes sense. Had I had the choice, I would have grabbed the dark chocolate. When I was younger, milk chocolate, sure. Now that I'm an adult, it's dark chocolate all the way, baby. That's the way it goes. But today, we're going to do, we're going to try this in two different ways. First, we're going to try this by itself. That's plenty, Eric. And uh, just see what it tastes all by itself. It's only 30 proof, much like the uh, bourbon cream. So, and why am I putting this in a little, uh, a little shot glass? It's actually a, a small little shot glass that uh, does measurements. I'll be using this to put together the Godiva Spicy Mistletoe Martini. So, let's drink it, shall we? Should I smell it? I should smell it. We're nosing it. It is chocolate and uh, liquor. So, there you go. Let's drink it, shall we? Oh, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. If you've seen the movie Meatballs, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's good. So let's put together the martini, the spicy mistletoe martini. So what I've done is I put in an ounce and a half of the Godiva milk chocolate. I have put an ounce of Jose Cuervo tequila and half an ounce of of Bee's Knees Spicy Honey. I don't know if you've had this before, but if you haven't, you should put it in your cabinet and have it around at all times. There is nothing like a piece of pizza, pepperoni pizza with some Bee's Knees Spicy Honey. I'm telling you right now, try it. So we put all that in here over some ice. I don't know why I have a New York Yankee shaker, but I do. That should be good enough. This is the only martini glass I own. Here you go, folks. Godiva Spicy Mistletoe Martini. Let's have a little taste. Oh, takes a while for the honey to come in. Oh. Next time I think I'll put a little more honey. Oh, okay. Spice is coming in now. It's not a lot. It just surprised me suddenly out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, that's good. It doesn't ask for spicy honey. I just happened to have that around. I thought it would be good for a spicy mistletoe martini. But they asked for Don Julio tequila instead of Jose Cuervo tequila. Uh, does it matter? I don't know that it does. What about putting just a little bit of this along the rim so I can get a little more of it when I take a taste? Okay, that bot, not knocking my socks off, but it's very good. Really good. Oh, this has been exciting. I'm so glad I got to share this with you right here on Eric Levinson, Whiskey and Otto. Whiskey and Otto? Thank you for coming to see me on uh, Whimsical Wednesday. Let me leave you with another Bill Murray quote. Moving acting suits me because I really only need to be good for 90 seconds.